Power will be able to get any shot they want. And how about the reaction? I mean, Celtics fans rolling down to Providence Hall in New England, ready to welcome Glenn Big Baby Davis back, and he got a very welcome into the building. Well, listen, these fans out here, they they, they were very appreciative of what Big Baby Davis brought to the Boston Celtics, and that's why he got all the love. He deserved the love. He was a great player when he played in the league. Right follows, didn't hit the rim, so this is up for grabs, and Moon has the trash. No, he, he likes it. Oh. He's, got, he's, got, he's got it at the top of the uniform, too. Yeah. Floater goes. That's a tough one. Tough two for Corey McGetty. And Corey McGetty has a, has a height advantage as well over Mike Bibby. You saw right there when he went to the lane. He just pulled up on Mike. And it, right. One shot, two points, Mike Bibby. Always an extension of the head coach. So point guards and head coaches normally have very good relationships because they're able to talk to each other and figure out what they want done on the basketball court. McGetty outside. Air ball right there to bail him out. Get the stick back. That's the type of player Julian Wright was when he played. Whether we're talking about at Kansas in the league, he was the guy that did all the dirty work. That's how he made his bones in his business. Ricky Davis unopposed off the bounce. McGetty kick out, right triple. And if you're the ghost ballers, you'll live, you'll live with that. Live with it again, but. <laughs> you, gotta play the, you gotta play the percentages. McGetty, step out, triple in the corner. There's Big Baby off the air ball, straight back up, draws oh. two. Right block from behind. What a Did block. Bibby get it? Wow. Woo. Mike Bibby with the big block. From behind. I see. And Bibby, that defense wasn't really Mike's team, but guess what? He's stepping it up in the, in the big three. Wow. That is Mike Bibby block from behind. Coming out of nowhere, cocking it back with a nice block. Bibby doing whatever his team needs to help get the victory. All right, now if you're 6'8", Julian Wright, and you come back to the bench for power after Mike Bibby blocks your shot, how's that go? Listen, if you're Julian Wright, you just got to shrug it off. You have to have a, what we like to call a next play mentality. Anybody can get their shot blocked, but how do you respond? That's the big question. I would have never pegged you for that. <laughs> sort of like BD, you can't block me. There's Moon Floater. I go at all coaches, men or women, and I think it's more of a respect factor. So Big Baby definitely respects Nancy Lieberman. Make sure we want to get that out there. I think everyone in basketball is in agreement on the respect Hello. for Nancy Lieberman. A head coach of the WNBA, uh, an assistant coach with the Sacramento Kings, and we have an injury. Birdman is down on the ground. I didn't, I didn't really see what happened, but uh, he's, getting up, he's, he's getting up fairly quickly. With that left left leg somewhere in there, you see Birdman grab it. Now, quickly back up, but with a significant limp, and that is very disappointing to see for a guy who has been. He had 12 points last week, season high 12 points, and this is after all the drama with Glenn Big Baby Davis leaving, and Catino Mobley gets hurt last week, so now Power and Nancy Lieberman, you have collective effort to make up for Big Baby, uh, not Big Baby, for uh, Birdman, not for the goal? I would say so. I mean, I would, it's a, it is certainly a shiny goal. It yeah, is, a nice, yeah. nice shot. Catino, the people are envious of your outfit today. Um, Catino, can we talk about, do you have Polynesian silks? Uh, where, where are these, what are these materials, uh, sir? Yeah, Q! Man, not right now, man. <laughs> Okay. You know, sometimes he likes to talk, sometimes he doesn't like to talk. I don't take it personally. He doesn't have any socks on, as you can tell. Yeah, that's, that's but the, he's wearing it fantastically. But, but that's the They're, look, though, Mike. Like, now when you have, like, the loafers like that, you go out there with, with the pants a little slightly higher up with no socks. That's the, that's the look now. He is so into this, uh, this team. He's going to pressure you. He doesn't mean any harm, but he's going to test you to see what you're all about. Back cut. In tight, floater goes. Nice little jump hook. When in doubt, when you get in that lane, back down the smaller guy, go right to your jump hook. Michael Thompson, the great Thompson basketball family. Then Taylor takes it right at him. So, I mean, he, he's not he's not backing away at all. I think Relentless would be the best way. He had two four-point shots last week, did Mike Taylor, from Chicago. Floater on the baseline goes Corey McGetty. You can see him starting to find a rhythm. Hey, but when we get a dead ball, we might need to see the replay of the shot that Mike Taylor just took because he thought it was going in. So he shoots the ball and turns around and starts talking to Catino, but the shot didn't fall. Uh -oh. And immediately touches it on the block. Nice handoff Woo! by Big Baby. Great play. 
Great play. Throw it, make the game simple. Throw it inside. Let the big fella work for you. He can either score or pass it. And Maggetti with an excellent cut. Corey Maggetti has the last four points for power. Nine in the game. And a huge answer for a four-point shot. All right. He shot that one from deep. Alex Scales for four. It's a four-point shot. Ghost Ballers get to 25 first, withstanding the attack from Maggetti and Power. Scales for four, sending us to halftime. Nancy Lieberman of Power, and that may be for Glenn Big Baby Davis right now. Zero points in the game. And that's surprising because Big Baby has done a good job neutralizing Big Baby. Julian Wright has the first bucket. <laughs> Moon miss, so that's an easy follow two for Corey Maggetti to give him now 13 in the game. Just standing in the game. Got his hand on that ball right there. Oh. The oh. And Jamario and Moore one. with the and one. Nice. He's a little long on, he's a little long on that one. Spin inside, nice dish right. Whip it back out, Maggetti triple the shot clock winding down. Maggetti nails the three. And it's just what we talked about. He got a couple of easy ones inside. Now it becomes a little bit easier to shoot that outside jump. And he has a couple of words for the Ghost Ballers bench. And now Maggetti has a rebound. Going to reset it again. Right inside. Here's Big Baby. Oh. Draws the D. Oh. Shakes his way. It is Shakedown Street. What happened? And what do we have? No, no basket? I'm a little confused by this one. So, but, oh, Maggetti didn't clear it. That's, that's what we got. Maggetti oh, didn't get Maggetti, all the way outside okay. the three-point line. Right, that makes right. a whole lot. That's, okay, there we go. So it's it's Maggetti didn't get it all the way out. All right, so that makes more sense. Howard's fought their way back into this game, and he had the chance to make up for his bad first half with an excellent second half. All right, draws a D again. Maggetti now right off the all dribble right, no. in the lane with the left. Julian Wright. Nice take by Wright right there. Very strong finish. At 17 last week. There you go. They got what they want now. They got. Uh oh, uh oh. Bibby pass, big uh -oh. baby. Bibby dancing on baby. Watch out. Right crossover. Left again. Right. Oh, okay, Julian. Right. I see you moving through London with the Euro step. Yeah, it's looking like uh, Birdman will not be back in this game, but. Power still look, looking to. Looking to get some things done, and then now we have Corey Maggetti. Ooh. Steps through the double and draws yeah. a foul. Well, his last performance was in the championship game last year, 27 in that championship game. And Maggetti with power, for power in his return to the floor. Davis with the right hand in his face. Tough tune jumper board to Maggetti. You have a technical on Ricky Davis? We do. And sometimes you got to do that, man. Sometimes you, you, you go out there, you take your technical foul to call awareness to something that's been happening to you all game. Now you, yeah, and, and, and right there before the shot, you can see that Julian Wright hits him on the own. I think the biggest thing that people don't know about ice cream is just how nice of a person he is. That's right. I mean, when, for my first time meeting him, he was just, I do my job. And I do it hard, I do it hard notes, I ask the hard notes questions, sometimes they don't like it, but I'm gonna stand in the pocket no matter what. Okay. Yes, he's getting a he is getting a stretch okay, like he is about dog, like he's about dog. to go play. That okay. is not down dog. I don't yeah. know what that is. We That's, got one legged dog. Uh, I don't, go what ahead, is, what yeah, is, go ahead and take your vinyasa out of that flow, I'm, Mike. It's, I'm, what is that? that? That's not even real yoga. Yeah, this is uh, all right. Meanwhile, back to the athletes who are pulling out on the floor. Right with a hammer, stretch this. Nice. Listen, nice dunk right there by Wright, man. And then Wright follows it back up. That is four in a hurry. But well, what a play by Julian Wright, catching the lob, going right down the lane, showing he still has the hops. Woo. Emphatic. And so we're playing to 50, have to win by two. Back nice. to Wright oh, again. Oh, oh he couldn't get it on the. Easy drop ball for Quentin Richardson. Now look at how easy Power is making the game right now. They're, make, they're, they're sharing the ball. That's a nice take by them on my tail, but Power's making the game easy. They're exploiting mismatches, they're sharing the ball. Need a nice cushion right now, and I'm just so impressed with the way Power is played, especially when you look at the fact that uh, Catino Mobley hasn't been able to play today, obviously, with the captain. Woo! 
McKinney with three. Long rebound. Thompson has it again. Oh, oh, big oh no. Come, come on, finish. big. Come on, baby. You oh, got to finish that one. They play hockey here, too. Oh, you got to finish that one. Oh, too much butter on the fingers. It was a one-timer. Too much butter on the fingers right with a nice pass, but Big Baby couldn't pay it off. And now Big Baby There we go. Tight. Now he goes to get to the hard way. Not exactly the finger roll, but Big Baby's first bucket puts a power Easy. two points away from a win, right? Fouls Taylor. And I tell you what, uh, the ghost ball, the ball, ghost ball is down 12 right now, but man, Mike Taylor does have that pop on that dribble. Big Baby right here. Inside, too much for Jamario Moon. Just overpowers him with a nice running left hand shot off the glass. And Taylor, he's got to be one of the quickest guys in this league. You look at that first step, that explosion. Man, they needed that free throw. Corey McGetty can end it here. McGetty back into the game. Here's oh, McGetty on Taylor. You know he wants this. This is a matchup. You know he wants this over Mike Taylor. McGetty dumps it off. Big. Baby, hello! Hello to the king! Winner! Welcome back to New England, Big Baby! Welcome back to the floor for power! Game winner in power! A week after they suffered their first loss in over a year, back in the win column, and Big Baby ends it in a big way. Big Baby, nice take right here. You see him going up on one side, finishing on the other. The big fella still got the nimbleness in this game. He wasn't going to mess up this assist.